Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and today we're looking at the Amazfit X, Amazfit's upcoming smartwatch with a really cool looking curved display. Let's get into it. Let's go. The Amazfit X is this upcoming curved smartwatch. It comes with two straps for thinner or thicker wrists and a USB powered charger. The first thing to notice is the 92 degrees curved glass display. This has a 326 pixels per inch, 2 inch curved AMOLED display with a brightness of 400 nits. It has a 206 by 640 pixels resolution and has a touch interface. On the side it doesn't have any physical buttons, but it does have that pressure sensitive sensor that is kind of being used as a button. It's got a 200 mAh battery that gives it a 7 day battery life and it can be charged within 2 hours. It comes with Huami's BioTracker PPG sensor for heart rate monitoring and it can measure blood oxygen levels. It's got GPS and GLONASS positioning, an ambient light sensor for automatic screen brightness adjustments, a 6-axis accelerometer and gyroscope, a linear vibration motor and Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity. And even more importantly, it's got 5 ATM waterproofing, allowing you to swim and shower with it. So how is it in use? Well the strap is easy to put on, quite similar to what you may have seen on other smartwatches and are maybe familiar with. First thing to note is that it looks very cool and I really like the look of that curved screen. The Amazfit X connects with your phone through the Amazfit app. Here you can also monitor the step counter, heart rate and sleep tracking data when synchronized with the watch. From the app you can also select from which other apps you would like the notifications to be pushed through to the watch and if you want it to uh, buzz on incoming calls and text messages. Here you can also select which region it needs to fetch for weather data and some other basic settings. Now let's look at the watch. From the watch face you can swipe down to see this quick access menu with functions like find my phone that will ping the connected phone. It's got a flashlight option that will make the screen all white a battery saving function that disables some features to save battery and a do not disturb button. When swiping up you will find a list of recent notifications from your phone and you can clear this list on the bottom. When swiping from left to right you'll find a list of easy access widgets. Here you can uh, set things like weather, your to-do list, a list of movement targets, the heart rate monitor, quick access toggles to start a workout and a bunch of others that you can select from the bottom of the list. When swiping from right to left you can access all the apps on the watch. Here you'll find the workout menu, your movement targets, heart rate data, blood oxygen levels, the weather, um, you can set alarms, set a stopwatch, a countdown timer and Bluetooth music controls that will control the music app on your phone. It also functions as a full-blown fitness tracker tracking all kinds of activities including running, cycling, fitness, indoor and outdoor swimming. From the settings menu you can set the brightness or enable auto brightness. You can change the watch face and set things like the do not disturb settings. From the watch face itself you can change which items you want to display on the watch face by long pressing on that for 3 seconds. Here you can change which items are being displayed. So I could change to show the battery level here instead of showing the time that the sun will set. So now for the next test I wanted to see how well the waterproofing is. Unfortunately at the time of making this video all the pools are still closed so I was not able to go and swim with it. So the next best thing is trying it out in the bathtub and yeah it did a very good job here. It should be able to withstand depths of 50 meters underwater but well my bathtub is not that deep so I tested it as well as I could and it seemed to do fine. So the next thing that all of you probably want to know is about the display. And this display is bright, it's super sharp and it looks very crisp. I like how the menu items and text look really good and sharp on it. You can choose to set it to auto brightness which will likely be more friendly on the battery but I personally like the brightness of the screen a lot and I've just set it to maximum brightness at all times. Then for the charger, I kind of have to point it out because I really like this charger. It's got a very strong magnet making it snap very easily to the watch and it fully charges the battery in 2 hours which is great. 
So then, what do I think? And equally important, how much is the watch? The watch is currently in crowdfunding on the Amazfit Indiegogo campaign, where it now goes for only 159 US dollars for the early bird offer and 60 bucks extra discount if you get two of them. The actual retail price in August, when they will start shipping, will be around 330 US dollars. So it does seem like a very sweet deal. So now, what do I think? Well, first of all, I like the unconventional design with that curved display. And I like how bright and sharp this display is. I like it how the apps and menu items scroll over that in a curve when you interact with the display. It looks very smooth. I like that it's got 7 day battery life for such a bright display. That's pretty sweet. And I personally really like that charger. I do notice that the screen can be quite reflective, which 99% of the time really ain't a problem because it's that bright. But once you're out on a very sunny day, it will reflect some of your surrounding. Although it's still being readable, I do have to point it out. So for the last few weeks that I had the pleasure of wearing the Amazfit X, I really do like it. And it looks like something fresh and different from many other smartwatches that are out there. So that is about it for the Amazfit X. What do you guys think of this watch and its design? Let me know down here in the comment section what your thoughts are. And if you're interested in checking it out, you can find more on the Indiegogo campaign page, where you can also pre-order it in case you want to pick one up for that early bird discount. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a little like below this video to show me that you've liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done that yet. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see y'all soon.